production log entry one interview with Ravi sign book um, for Friday afternoon type of transport or interview with Angela Johnson the production log is intended to chart any obstacles you're facing your research your progress and the aims of your final report the production log will have to be a little different I'm going to record all the research I do here put relevant and irrelevant because as yet I don't really know what my final report will be nor what will end up being relevant I don't know what I'm aiming for I will just have a wait and see what position I am in at the end of my research and what can essay I can therefore bring together this is starting to feel like a diary. I'm hoping it will not be easy as I proposed to Mrs. Morgan. I'm hoping it will be the truth. What really happened to Andy Bell on the 20th April 2012? And as my instincts tell me, if Sally Sa's son is not guilty, then who killed her? I don't think I will actually solve the case and discover the person who murdered Andy. I'm not a police officer with access to a forensics lab, obviously, and I'm not I'm I also not deluded, but I'm hoping that my research will uncover facts and accounts that will lead to reasonable doubt about Sal's guilt and suggest that the police were mistaken in closing the case without digging further. So my research methods will actually be interviewing with close to the case obsessive social media stalking and wild wide speculation. Don't let Mrs. Morgan see any of those. The first stage in this project then is to research what happened to Andy Bell, known as Andy to everyone, and the circumstances surrounding her disappearance. This information was taken from news articles and police press conferences from around the time.